dish today in our meat feast theme is my sausage and sweet corn penne pasta. So this dish is made for my son because he loves sausages, he loves pasta and he doesn't eat loads of vegetables but he does love sweet corn so this is kind of really the meal for him. So we're going to start off, I've got my boiling water here which I've salted liberally. You've got to remember that the pasta takes on the flavours in the water so the salt's in the water and I've also put olive oil in there and that stops it sticking. So I'm going to put in about 400 grams of penne pasta and this is just dried penne pasta. So you just cook it according to your own packet instructions. Um, this one will take about 11 or 12 minutes to be al dente. So that's a little bit extra. So we'll just get that back to the boil and then we're going to simmer. Okay. In the meantime, in this pan, I've just got it heating over a, you know, a medium high heat, olive oil in, and then here I've got around 400 grams of sausages, and I've got my butcher to actually take them out of the skins. So you don't want them in the skin, you have to remove it from the skin. Well, like I said, your butcher can do that for you. And I'm just going to pop this into the pan, and then we're gonna break that up. Our pasta's boiling, so we're just gonna turn that down now, and that's going to simmer for around 11, 12 minutes. In the meantime, we're going to break up our sausages. You just want to be pressing them with the wooden spoon and it will just automatically break up. We're going to let our sausage meat cook for around five or six minutes just until that's cooked through. This really is a really simple evening, quick dinner that if you get home after a long day, you can have on the table in like 20 minutes. often with a lot of ingredients that you'll automatically have in your cupboard as well which makes it even better. See the brown bits that are forming on the sausages now, everyone in my family fights over the crispy brown bits on the sausages. It's always a good idea when you're cooking dried pasta to give it a stir part way through and it just stops it sticking together. Perfect. Okay, so our sausage is cooked through now, so we're going to start adding in a few more ingredients. I'm going to start off by adding in two diced shallots. So I like the shallots better in this um, than onion because it's a lot milder. Um, my son isn't a fan of any kind of strong flavours. And I find that the shallots kind of melt into the dishes when they're cooked a lot better than the onion does. So we're going to add in our shallots and give it probably another couple of minutes to cook before we add in our corn. So our shallots are lovely and soft now. Our sausage is getting lovely and crispy, which will please my family. And so now I'm just going to add in a couple of cups of, this is just um, frozen sweet corn that I've stored. So we're going to add that straight in. Frozen sweet corn is a great thing to have in the freezer because it's so quick and easy to have so many different dishes. I think sweet corn is great for children as well as they don't think they look at it as they do a, a vegetable like broccoli or carrots. So 
I just need a couple more minutes and then I think our pasta will be ready as well. Before I drain my pasta I'm actually going to save um, just around half a cup of the cooking water just in case we need to thin out the sauce when we've added um, the mascarpone and the parmesan. So I always just save a little bit of the cooking water because the pasta water is actually really good to add to the sauces because it's got all the starch and pasta in it so it helps it stay nice and thick. So I always take a little bit out before I drain the pasta. Okay, so it's time to start bringing this dish together. So I've drained my pasta. We've got our delicious sausage, shallot and sweet corn mix here. So I'm going to add that into the pan with our pasta. Okay, and then now we're going to add in 250 grams of mascarpone cheese. So I'm just gonna break it up as I add it in and then it makes it easier for it to melt into the pasta and meat mixture. If you bring it a little bit to room temperature as well before you add it in, that helps with this process. And then we're just going to start stirring this around. I think I probably should have used a bigger pan for this. So immediately the mascarpone starts to melt into all the meat and pasta, creating this beautiful creamy sauce. I just want to try and incorporate the cheese into all the pasta and meat. That's melting perfectly now. So what we're going to add in now, just to make it even cheesier, is some grated Parmesan. So I'm gonna add in around a couple of Parmesan. I'm just gonna reserve a little bit, just to sprinkle it on the top when we serve. I'm just gonna stir it again, just to coat all the pasta and the sausage and the sweet corn. And I think this is ready to serve. Parmesan that we saved. And there we have, this is my sausage, sweet corn, penne pasta, and I think this is one for Harvey, my son. Mm -hmm.